In this session, we're going to look at working with fonts. Now, in class, whenever we start a new spreadsheet, in A1, we're always going to place our name. So we'll put our name, and then you can actually either have it in the one cell or in B1, put in your name. Now, these are the basic default fonts. Now, if you're in a smaller resolution, you don't have the full menu bar open, there is the more option that gives you the icons that aren't currently seen on the default menu bar. But we're going to be working with the Arial or the font area and also font size. You can have font color as well. You've got your normal italics and bold. And you can do the fill color behind the text if you want to. But we're mainly concerned at the moment with text font and also the size. So we can start with the name and increase that from default 10 to say 14. And we can also do the same to the name. And if you want to carry the previous format across, you can use the roller and picks up all the formatting of this cell. And then when I click on the new cell, it carries that across. If your name then starts bleeding over, we can either double click to make the column wider, or if you want to, you can highlight the two cells together and then merge them to make one big cell. And now you'll notice that we've got a single cell and a double cell. If you want to change the actual font, we can actually go up to Arial and we can select out of the list that's presented. You'll notice that I've actually got more fonts than you may have. So if you want to add more fonts, click on the More Fonts option. This will then open up to all the fonts that are on your computer, and you can then go through and select the fonts that you would like to add to your list. So if you find one that you're happy with, say Lobster, and click on OK, now when I go into my font list, you'll notice if I go down to where the L's are, Lobster now exists. So I can actually go through now and select the fonts that I normally use. So I'm going to use um, something like, say, Tradewinds. And then I can actually change the color of this by then selecting colors to match. So in this way, we can actually change the font size, font color, and actually the fonts that are actually installed in our Google Sheets. So I hope you found this useful when working with fonts.